One of the biggest and most dangerous myths in the entire critical mineral space is the so-called fact that all cobalt in our batteries comes from child labor in the Congo. It's repeated everywhere, but it isn't really true. Cobalt is the metal that stabilizes lithium ion batteries. It stops batteries from overheating, boosts energy density, and makes EVs, laptops, and phones safer. It's also essential for jet engines, super alloys, cutting tools, and catalysts. It's a small market with huge importance. We mine about 22,000 tons of cobalt a year, a global market worth about 11 to 16 billion. Tiny compared to copper or nickel, but absolutely critical to electrification. Yes, the DRC produces about 70% of the world's cobalt. But here's the key fact that almost no one knows. Most Congolese cobalt, around 70 to 80%, comes from large-scale industrial mines run by companies like Glencore and China Mali, operating under international ESG safety and labor standards. Artisanal mining does exist, and it's where almost all the child labor issues occur. But artisanal cobalt is only 25% of the DRC supply, which means it's only about 15% of global supply. Not 100%, not 50%, 15 And the DRC government is actively working to formalize and regulate artisanal sites, with cooperatives, controlled zones, and efforts to cut out predatory middlemen. The myth persists because it's simple, emotional, and morally charged. It's repeatable by NGOs, consultancies, and commentators who find it easier to demonize mining than understand it. But the data is clear. Most cobalt does not come from child labor. Most comes from regulated industrial operations. You don't need to trace cobalt atoms. You just need to choose brands that audit their supply chains. Companies like Apple, Samsung, BMW, VW, and Tesla now certify that their cobalt comes from traceable, industrial, regulated parts of the market. So let's be clear, cobalt isn't the issue. Exploitation is the issue, and it's being addressed. Meanwhile, cobalt remains essential for EVs, electronics, aerospace, and high-performance batteries. We're going to need it for decades. The future is all about responsible cobalt.